Hey everybody, this is Infinite Trials here saying welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Fire Red version. Since last time I've begun my assault upon the rocket uh, headquarters within the Celadon Game Quarter, and also picked up the very valuable lift key, which I'll be demonstrating here today. So without further ado, let us get us going right here and there with the uh, movements of sorts of the tiles. And for some reason, it actually did not give me as much difficulty as I thought it would. But in any case, okay, there's nothing down here. I don't understand why I just ran down there. Whatever, I don't really care that much. Okay, so what do I need to do? Okay, now what I want to do here is pretty much go back to the elevator again where we were earlier. Go down here, um, go around here, go down this, uh, which one do I want to go down? I can't remember off the top of my head. I want to go down this one, and I want to go down this one, and then I want to go down to that one right there, and that will bring us over to the elevator, which we weren't, wouldn't be able to normally access otherwise without this lift key. This is where it's very important, because if you did not have the lift key, you would not be able to go into the elevator and go into different areas of this place of sorts. Um, now let's see here, what do I want to, should I show off the area of Basement 401, or should I show off the area of, uh, yeah, I'll show off Basement 401 first. Uh, I might as well just show off that area, because Basement 4, uh, 4 is where the majority of the stuff I'll be doing in today's episode will be. Uh, Little Mouse. Um, okay, I want, this, this becomes a, re a refer, a recurring, um, recurring insult to me actually throughout the game because I know there are a lot of trainers in this game that call you little mouse don't ask me why that's just that's just a weird weird insult I oh it, it, it makes it sound, it makes them sound like they're gonna like I don't know molest you or something it's like oh hello there little mouse how are you getting little lost right here <laughs> Oh, yes, <laughs> little mouse. <laughs> that's, that's just disturbing, man. Like, I think that is a rather disturb. This game, oh, this game has so many weird things. Then again, such can be said about a lot of different games nowadays, but I don't know. <laughs> I, don't, I don't freaking know. Whatever, um, this guy's going to send in his, uh, what is it, what is he, coughing? His coughing, as they would say in the, uh, to Poker Man shows back in the day. Oh man, I remember back when I was like younger. That that show was that show was the bee's knees, man. That show was just that that was a kitten. Kid. Why did I not kill with my water pulse right there? Oh come on! Oh, biscuits and gravy, whatever, whatever. You know it, it's okay. I can just run off and heal after this match. Any who's and so it's not gonna be that big of a deal. Whatever, water. Uh, whatever, 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 whatever. It's this is all good. Because I can just run off and heal, which I think I'll be able to do um, right after this match. He's going to be like, why? Uh, for those of you who didn't get the reference, that's a Beastie Boys song there called Sabotage. Okay, now, yeah, pretty much once you defeat that guy, the pathway right here will completely open up. But in the meantime, I'm going to go off and heal real quick, so I'll be right back. All right, so I healed up and I uh, went back to the elevator here, which I will be taking to go down to the basement floor four, which is pretty much the most important area at this point, the only area that we haven't checked out yet. So what I'm going to do, actually, I should probably switch over to someone else besides Nino Master P, just because I've been using him a decent amount. I'll use uh, I'll use Harvey Birdman. I've he's he, it's been a while since he's had some screen time. But in any case, if you go right here, you'll be able to pick up a calcium. Very nice. Uh, boost, I believe, your special attack, if I'm not mistaken. And here, you, in order to get invested in the next part, you have to defeat these two fellas right here. He's going to be like, I know you, you ruined our plans in Mount Moon. How did I ruin your plans in Mount Moon? All I did was fight you guys. I, like, I did nothing to interfere with your plans here. It's not like, oh, Rocky Grunt, I might as well spoil their plots. No, you guys came to me and were like, hey, you look, you're, you look weak. I'm going to steal your poker mans right here and there. Like, no, 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 no. I... See, that's the thing about cult followings. They're stupid and idiotic, just like Scientology. Oh, goodness gracious. I really got to stop bashing Scientology because I've been feeling like one of these days. Someone's going to come across this video. I feel, I feel like Tom Cruise is just going to come across this video and be like, Hey, hey, you're insulting my faith. I'm going to sue you for $10 million, and I'll just be like, why? Why? Yeah, whatever. I hate radicals so much. Whatever, a Goonie, I'm just going to smash you with a flamethrower. Wait, why did I bring in a Goonie? All right, and some made from the Ekans, as they would say in the anime, too. 
Um, but in any case, uh, Goonie Kane 304 XP, pretty, pretty nice. Sand Slash, okay, I'm just gonna actually just bring in Mr. Blue Bosa right here and there, just because I can nail him with a, uh, a Water Pulse right there. So I'll just do that, and uh, bada bing bada pow, I'll just smack you right there in the face with a pulse of water! I can't really, I, I can't think of a good name, a good sound effect for water, except for like a bloop bloop bloop. It just doesn't sound the same as like fire or lightning or hell, hyper beam. Actually, have we even seen hyper beam yet? I don't know. Whatever, he's gonna be like, burnt Again, again, again. I had nothing to do with your plans and messing with them. You just happened to come to me being like, hey, you're weak, give me your pokes. I swear to God. Um, well, I don't know, maybe because evil is... Actually, no, no, that's not true. Beauty can be... Beautiful pe Beautiful things can be evil. Such in the case of the, uh, the cheerleading squads of high school angsty films. Just saying. Just saying. But in any case, their evil right here is quite an ugly one, not gonna lie, and why... I should really not be using Harvey to do any of this stuff. I should just use someone else. Oh, whatever, I still managed to kill him off with a secret power, even at minus one. That's pretty cool. Um, what's he gonna bring in now? Sandshrew. Okay, once again, I'm just gonna bring in my, um... My Blue Bosa here as he brings in his Bulbasaur Tremender Golem! Wait, no. No, no, that's, that's, that's different. Yeah, I, I messed... I, I'm thinking Pikachu, not Sandshrew. Um, whatever. Oh man, I remember the day. I, what I was trying to do was reference the poker rap right there, but it kind of failed because I realized that the, that I was gonna say Pikachu instead of Sandshrew. Now yeah, whatever. Ah, man, the poker rap. Jeez, jeez, man. Those, those were some other good times right there. And then, man, those were those were sick and nasty. Oh, I wonder if you guys remember like the original poker rap or not. I hope so. I, mean, I know I have a younger audience, um, because I know the majority of you guys are interested. Actually, no, I don't, to be honest, I don't really know what the, like, the age, the age variation of my audience really is, in all honesty. Because I could say that you guys are, like, in a younger generation, say, like, I don't know, 14, 15, 16, but even then, like, I, I know for a fact, like, some of, I know some of you guys are probably a little older than me, too. Maybe, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what the age, like, the age varies. I know it's like, okay, I know, like, unless there's some creepy, okay. I, I have an, I have an idea. Like, I know it's some range of, oh, come on, are you seriously gonna go for the ferret? No, no, you do not go for a pair of flinch on me. I, s oh, oh, you gotta be kidding me. Come on. Okay, no flinching. Come oh, come on! Are you kidding me? Come on! I swear to God. Yeah, whatever, whatever. Okay, thank you. Oh, goodness, I could got get the paralysis right there. Jeez, that was that's that's like getting treated by a freaking swear, you might think he has serene grace on that thing. Whatever. Team Rocket Grunt is out of the way too, and I yeah I think it's that yeah, yeah, the reference to uh much like the uncle from Jackie Chan Adventures. Oh that show was awesome! Man, I I've just been on a a, a freaking like I'm I'm having one of those moments where I'm just like having freaking uh, what's what's the term? I don't know. Well, in any case, I'm actually gonna go off and heal up real quick again because I really wanna. I, I I need to heal up War Turtle just because he's gonna be really really important in this next part in this next upcoming fight. So I will be right back. All right, so I'm back and ready to go on and see who exactly this fellow is right here. And well, he looks quite sinister. Well, actually, wait, did I remember to switch Blue Boss up at the? Fr no, I did not. Yeah, I might want to do that. Yeah, you might want to have a grass or water type up against this guy. Just saying. Just saying. So, I must say I'm impressed you got here. Team Rocket captures Pokemon from around the world. They're important tools for keeping our criminal enterprise going. I'm their leader, Giovanni. For your insolence, you will feel a world of pain. Well, guys, it's best time. That didn't sound right. Best time against Boss Giovanni. And he's going to lead off with an Onyx, level 25, rock and ground type, with the moves. Give me a second here, and, uh, why didn't I have this open? Uh, I feel like a twit right now. Whatever, he's with, uh, rock throw, bind, rage, harden. There we go. Sorry about that. I, I, I normally have Bulbapedia up, but uh, for some reason I had it set to a different tab, like a moron. No, oh, well, whatever. Yeah, again, it's an Onyx. It's pretty easy to kill. I, I don't, see, I don't foresee this thing having too much trouble. 
This this guy too, much like Erica, is a complete and total joke. His next Pokemon here is Rhyhorn, level 24, Rock and Ground type with the move Stomp, Fury Attack, Scary Face, and Tail Whip. Rhyhorn is a new Pokemon we haven't found yet, but he is not good. <laughs> Pretty craptacular, if I do say so myself. Um, if he had some stab moves on it, it might not be that bad, but it's again not that good of a poke. Slow, quad beat to water and grass. Really not that big of an issue. Now his final Pokemon right here actually could give me a little trouble here, but thankfully because I do have Mr. Kangaskhan, I mean not Mr. Kang, Mr. Needle King person here with a fighting type move, he might be able to handle his star player, Kangaskhan. Now Kangaskhan here is level 29, normal type, with the moves Fake Out, Mega Punch, Bite, and Tail Up. Now Fake Out can be annoying, and in general he'll like to Fake Out here just so he can get the uh, first turn flinch on you. Which is kind of annoying here and there, but in all honesty, it's really not that big of a deal. King's Gun is actually a decent poke, in my opinion. It's very bulky and has some very solid offenses in my mind. And, yeah, as you can clearly tell, he took that Brick Break pretty nicely, actually. Jeez, I'm surprised that didn't do as much damage as I hoped. And also, you might want to just watch out for that Mega Punch, too, because that could really, like... That could also do a massive dent, put a massive dent in, um, really anything, just because he's got Stab on it. But, uh, we'll see how much this does to Master P. I hope it doesn't take me out, otherwise that would suck. Ow! Jeez! Well, thankfully I got the poison point from that thing, which will hopefully finish him off. But, yeah, um... Yeah, this thing... Kangaskhan is actually kind of threatening, not gonna lie. But, as you can I was still able to successfully defeat him without too much difficulty, and with that we defeated Bust Giovanni! Eh, not, not too difficult, just watch out for the Kangaskhan. That's the only thing you really gotta look out for. His first two pokes joke, but the last one can be, again, a bit tricky. But from that we get $2,900 for winning, and he's like, I see. You raise Pokemon with the utmost care. A child like you would never understand what I hope to achieve. I shall step aside this time. I hope we meet again. And with that, he will leave and drop this thing in the Jagger right here, which is none other than the Slip Scope. Well, it appears that we finally have a way of finding out how to get past those ghosts. So I think next time on Let's Play Pokemon Fire Red, we're going to go and continue on and check out and return to the area of the Pokemon Tower and Fun Dead Spears and Swords. So if you enjoyed this video, guys, you can rate, comment, sub, and this is Infinite Trust here saying peace out, yo, and have a good one. That was a crappy outro, but I apologize. Bye!